Welcome to Liberate University. Namaste, dear friends, and welcome to this uplifting devotional chanting meditation to connect with the divine protection and blessings of Lord Narasimha. So, Lord Narasimha is a very powerful Hindu deity and he comes from the avatar Lord Vishnu. And so Vishnu comes from the Hindu trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Brahma symbolizing the creator, Vishnu the preserver, and Shiva the destroyer. So Vishnu has incarnated as many different avatars, one of them being Krishna, who you may be more familiar with, but we have this other very powerful deity as well, which is called Lord Narasimha. And so with Narasimha, Vishnu incarnated as a very fierce, courageous, and powerful deity who specifically fights evil. So he symbolizes the power of good over evil, of wisdom over ignorance, of light over darkness. So when we connect with Lord Narasimha, we are connected, connecting with a very high vibration energy that has this power to resist evil and to actually defeat evil completely. Okay? And so we are uh, offering this to you during Narasimha Jayanti, which is a very auspicious celebration, which celebrates uh, Lord Narasimha, the fourth incarnation of Vishnu. And according to Hindu mythology, um, Vishnu appeared in, in this avatar Narasimha in a fierce form of this god to kill the demon Hira Nyaya Kapshipu. Okay? And so Narasimha is depicted as half lion and half human form of Vishnu. And Lord Vishnu appeared in the form of Narasimha to protect his devotee Pralada from this, from this demon. And so like many Hindu festivals, Narasimha Jayanti also signifies the victory of good over evil. So here we have a picture of Narasimha and we see how he symbolized as this very powerful um, avatar and he's, uh, he's half um, lion and half man. And here we see how he's uh, basically devouring the, you know, the gods of, of the demon, right? But we have to remember that it, this is not literal. What all of these deities symbolize something for us. And so he symbolizes that the goodness of spirit over, always conquers evil. Okay, so Narasimha is very powerful, okay? So we're going to connect with this very powerful deity and we're going to chant with devotion so that, you know, during these times that we're going through is very relevant to try to be in tune with the forces of light and with the forces of goodness. Uh, you know, unfortunately, in the times that we live today, there is a lot of darkness, a lot of, a lot of evil trying to perpetrate all the forces of goodness, right? We see in, you know, all the, all the global stuff that the world has gone through recently. All of these, we have to remember that this is the force of evil always trying to perpetrate the force of light or the force of spirit, the force of God. But these, all these deities remind us, help to remind us that the light and the love of, of spirit always conquers evil, always. And 
within us, we have this power, we have this inherent spiritual power to first conquer the evil within ourselves, whatever, uh, you know, whatever negative tendencies we may have, we first conquer that ourselves, within ourselves, so we first change ourselves. Then once we've changed ourselves, once we've raised our consciousness, our vibration, then we have the power to change the whole world, okay? And actually, uh, Paramahansa Yogananda, the great guru from, from India, always used to say, reform yourself and you will reform thousands. One soul with the power of reforming himself, of completely changing himself, can really neutralize millions of negative mentalities, okay? So this is what we're going to connect with today. The force of light, the force of spiritual power, of spiritual victory over evil. So that's why we're going to chant to Narasimha for this auspicious celebration of Narasimha Jayanti. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get on the right meditation posture and a very simple meditation posture is spine straight, shoulders back, chest out, shoulders in, palms upturned, resting on the thighs, close to the abdomen, and very importantly, the gaze of the eyes resting gently uplifted, at the spiritual eye, the point between the eyebrows, which is also known as the Kutasta Chaitanya in Sanskrit, or the Christ or Krishna Consciousness Center in the body. So we want to remain here in this correct meditation posture. We want to chant both from the heart, the center of devotion, and from the spiritual eye, the center of super consciousness, super concentration. Okay. So what we'll do now, we'll practice a few breathing exercises to help us relax ourselves, to relax the body, to, re to relax the mind, so that we can then stay here and then get into our chanting and devotional meditation. So let us start with a prayer from our hearts. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus of Self-Realization, Saints of all religions, we bow to you all. Beloved Lord, Fill my mind with thy wisdom. Fill my heart with thy love. And fill my soul with thine ever new joy. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Shri Narayana 
So now, as we've chanted with devotion, let us dive deep in the stillness and bliss of meditation. Let us feel the divine protection of Lord Narasimha blessing us and guiding us and at the same time let us visualize the whole world all those who are suffering enveloped in the divine protection of spirit and let us feel our own spiritual power to overcome all darkness within us. So let us now meditate deeply. close chanting on feel the whole world enveloped in the divine light of spirit visualizing all beings protected by this great light and love which always emanates from spirit
Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus of Self-Realization, we bow to you all. Beloved Lord, I lay at thy feet of omnipresence all the flowers of my devotion. Free my life from all obstacles of delusion and lead me safely to thy shores of divine fulfillment. And may thy love shine forever on the sanctuary of my devotion. And may I be able to awaken thy love in all hearts. Om Shanti 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 Thank you so much, dear friends and beautiful souls. And may you always feel within you the divine protection and blessings of Lord Narasimha. Jai Guru, Jai Narasimha. Namaste. Thank you for being a part of this class. We hope to see you at the next one.